Uh, I believe that uh, royal biographer Angela Levin is now ready. Are you there, Angela? I am, yeah. Good, they good. They let me in. Yeah, well, I'm glad they let you in. You're always welcome here. Uh, now, let's talk about uh, something I think is very disconcerting. Uh, Prince Andrew. Uh, it's yes. the big royal story, story today, is planning uh, what they're calling Spare Mark II, uh, a bombshell book along the lines of Prince Harry's book. So, uh, if so, he says he wants to set the record straight, but the mind boggles. This is not good for the royal family, this sort of thing, is it? No, it's absolutely not good, and he knows that. But it's also not go good to him, because if he thinks carefully about what's happened to his nephew, Prince Harry, whose popularity has gone down through the earth, um, he would think again about doing an autobiography about that. What's he going to do? He's going to try and clear his relationship with Epstein. I mean, that is a nonsense, isn't it? Because they're umpteen pictures when he's taken him to all sorts of uh, parties and shooting afternoons um, with all the royals. So he can't pretend he doesn't know him. And I think if he thinks that he did very well when he did that uh, interview, um, you know, a long time ago now on television, he thought it went fine. He was delighted. He told his mother, the Queen, that it was absolutely fantastic. And if that's his level of judgment, goodness help us on him. But the other thing is that's very important is that he he's a he's very obstinate. We can see that because he's banging on the door of his brother all the time to get back into the royal family. But um I suspect that if he does have a ghostwriter, then that one the person is gonna get very fed up with him or he's gonna get very fed up with her because he won't listen to what actually <laughs> would be helpful. So I think it's a disaster all round, frankly. Uh, it is. Uh, do you think that... Uh, I, I, I suspect uh, that Andrew's motivation for this will be financial, that he's seen that Harry got a $20 million advance on Spare, plus I think he's raking it now because the book sold very well. Uh, so I think uh, Andrew, who we know has had his financial difficulties, uh, it, it would be very interested in making uh, shed loads of money. Do you think that's the motivation here? I suspect it is. No. No, it isn't. I mean, I've read what a lot of PRs say in America, and they say he won't get anywhere near the amount of money that Harry's got. Um, he'll be lucky if he gets a million, when for you and I, that would be fantastic. But, um, you know, the way he spends money, maybe not. But it won't get a, a lot. And a lot of people couldn't care less about him and don't want to know anything more about him. Whereas Harry has been a charismatic figure and the whole drama with him and Meghan is absolutely fascinating. It's the best type of sort of um, serialization you could ever have. But with William, there's just not that interest. Well, with with William, sorry. With, with Andrew, Andrew, there's yeah. just not that interest. Um, and I think that a big um, publishing house won't want to touch it because of, you know, the link with Epstein and America and all that. Um, and FBI still wanting to speak to Andrew that it might be a, um, a less known publisher who can pay him less money, but who will get very well known because of it. Uh, and uh, just generally, it, it, these books, it, it, if Andrew does write one, you know, hot on the heels of spare, this is bad for the royal family because this is destroying the mystique uh, the majesty of our royal family, isn't it? If they, uh, they're all going to sit down and write books saying, you know, my family are racist and my dad's mean and I can't stand my mother, it's just not regal, it's not right, and it's, I think it poses an existential problem to our royal family. It is, Rob, which is probably why he's doing it, because he's never got on with his brother and his brother's never got on with him. Um, but I, I think it will damage them. But on the other hand, I don't know how many people will actually trust him and what he's, listen to what he's saying and believe it. I know I wouldn't. I just wouldn't. I mean, I would just say I'm really, you know doesn't interest me, and I'm interested in everybody in the royal family, but he's actually uh, got a long um, history of, of not actually seeing the truth. 
And I wouldn't necessarily think that um, his eloquent writing and eloquent speaking would be uh, acceptable. <laughs> Uh, yes, I, I mean, what does he... I mean, we don't know what he's proposing to put in the book, but he, it, we are hearing that he's told friends, as they say, that he wants to set the record straight. I mean, about what? About, well, his, about, about his friendship with Epstein? We know yes. about the detail, the sordid details of that, don't we? Well, we do, you see, but he wants to put it straight. I mean, what's he going to do? I mean, when you've decided not, he could no longer be friends with him, how, what would you do if it was a, a friend of yours? You'd ring them up, you would email. But he went to New York and he stayed a whole weekend where he was invited to a couple of dinner parties in Epstein's house and had a very nice time because he said he wanted to do it gently and politely. Well, that's a load of rubbish, isn't it? It yeah. doesn't make any sort of sense. You don't fly to New York to say to someone, I don't want to be your friend anymore. Um, you just cut them off or you... you as I said, you send an email or a WhatsApp or something mm. like that. So uh, I think it's um, it's very irrational. Um, and I hope that the people will actually um, not take any notice of him. I mean, if you hear that he harangued his mother, the Queen, because he knew that he was her favourite, and she would give him a quarter of a million, mm -hmm. over £250,000 per year, and he still wanted her to play for the guru that he wanted. Oh, yeah, the £32,000 a year Indian healer. And how would you feel about somebody who was also moaning and groaning? We've had enough moaning and groaning. We want to see, you know, like... Um, William and Catherine and um, the Queen and King and, you know, that the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. We want to see those people who get on with it and seem actually to enjoy being part of the royal family. And, and Andrew's had his time. He's, he's no longer relevant. Yeah. By the way, Angela, if you remember, um, the last time he had a crusade for the truth, it was uh, to make sure that Virginia Gaffrey wasn't able to take him to court in New York uh, to sue him civilly uh, for allegedly uh, sexually abusing her on three different continents. So he shut that case down by giving Virginia Gaffrey, we're told, £12 million. Uh, so that was his search for the truth then. Uh, uh, um, what I mean, what is he going to say about all of this? What is he going to put in the book about uh, that, that saga? I mean, it seems to me that if he writes a book and he's going to do it uh, with his own interests in mind, we're not going to get the truth at all, are we? No, I don't think so. But what I think he wants to concentrate on, he wants to really hit at King Charles. He wants to make it difficult for him. And he will also go through his childhood... And, you know, the fight they had and if he fell and he hit his head on a dog bowl like like um, Harry did. You know, I think it'll be like that and why he wasn't treated nicely. Well, I mean, actually, if you work it out, he was treated incredibly nicely. And the fact is he didn't have the same sense of duty and um, behaving very well. I mean, we know he was going around the world doing business that some people said was dubious. And he loved um, adding, playing golf at the end of it. Now, of course, he's got to be careful because if he does go to America, the FBI is still anxious to talk to him. If he does go there to play golf or he does go there to talk to the writer of it, then um, it's going to be very difficult for him. He'll have to get her to come over to the UK all the time. She may want to and she may not. But she's busy writing another biography at the moment, apparently, on a show business person. So he'll have to wait till the end of that. And I hope by then the king has got been passed through the coronation and things have calmed down. People can see how hard he works. People can see how hard Camilla works and and that he he doesn't actually go ahead. Well, let's hope not, uh, but uh, the book uh, would be interesting, to say the least. Uh, but I think, as you quite rightly say, Angela, uh, not uh, a well-advised thing to do.